Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with day four of swim week and today we are focusing on Abercrombie swimwear. This was actually a request from so many of you and honestly, I was very intrigued myself. I want to know if Abercrombie swimwear will fit a mid-sized gal like myself. I fit between a size 12, 14, I'm 5, 10 and all of my stats are also listed down below. All of the items will also be listed down there that I'm sharing today, including links to shop and my size. Let me know your thoughts on today's try on. I would love to hear from you, but let's go ahead and jump into it. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the majority of these swimsuits just did not work for me. And I honestly contemplated even posting this video went back and forth and decided to go ahead and post it because I know quite a lot of you guys, including myself, had some questions and really wanted to see Abercrombie swimwear in action and see if it even fits you. But I also decided to post this video because if I tried these swimsuits on maybe three, four years ago, I would have automatically been in a bad headspace about my body just due to the way they fit. So I wanted to remind you guys that uh, it's not your body, it is the swimsuits. And also maybe deter you from trying out these swimsuits if you are in that headspace that I am very much familiar with because there are so, so many better options on the market for us curvy girls um, that, uh, that we don't even need to worry about these. So again, just wanted to share these swimsuits for those reasons. Majority of these do not fit me at all, some of them fit a little bit better than others. Um, all of them are in size extra large though. Um, that is the largest size that Abercrombie offers. And of course, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. This one right here is probably the best fitting one and it is also my favorite style. I don't think it still fits me like as amazing as I'd want. And I'm definitely not as comfortable as, you know, I prefer to be in my swimsuits, but I do find this one runs true to size. So this is a black plunging one piece. It does have the deep plunge in the front. It also has the halter neck, so it ties around the neck like so. Um, and then it also does have the tie at the waist. So I really love the tie at the waist. I love accentuating my waistline in any way possible. I love a good deep plunge, especially on a one piece. I think it just gives the swimsuit a little bit of extra sass when one pieces are normally more covered up. Um, a couple of things I don't love about this one though. Um, unfortunately, as I said, this is not my most comfortable fitting swimsuit, but I still think this one runs true to size. It does not fit me due to the length. As you guys know, I am 5'10", definitely on the taller side. I keep all of my stats listed down below. And I also hold my height in my torso region as opposed to my legs. So one piece swimsuits are very much a struggle for me, especially ones with a halter neck because it just puts that additional pressure on my neck that I don't love. Um, so that's one thing I do not love about this one. I also don't love because it's not long enough for me. It is very high on the sides over here, showing a bit more than I'd prefer both in the front and also here in the back. And I also do wish that this piece right here was a bit higher just to give me a little bit of additional support and coverage on my back. But again, not the worst swimsuit. You guys are gonna see some worse fitting options next, um, but not but not the best one either. I would still recommend it if you have been thinking about this one, especially if you are either on the taller side or your torso is not quite as long as mine. It is a nice option, pricier piece, but I do kind of like it and I like the sassier details this one has. So next swimsuit I'm sharing here is not the absolute worst. Um, the top for me isn't the best style, um, but I will be honest, they were pretty sold out in sizing on their website when I placed my order. So I did go ahead and just choose from what was available. Um, personally, because I am so busty, I don't normally prefer a one shoulder you know, top. I have tried out other styles from other retailers and I feel like other ones I've tried out have like a little bit of boning on the side here. So you still get a bit of support, but this one does not. Um, the cups in here are removable. Um, there is also like a bit of elastic at the bottom. 
there is again just the one single strap and then there is a tie in the back the top i would say fits true to size again the style is just not the best for my bust and my body but it's not bad and i do think it fits true to size as far as the bottoms these are the high cut cheeky they have a little bit of a different name but that's what airy calls theirs um, in a size extra large everything i am sharing today again is in a size extra large that is the largest size that, that they offer and all of the sets that i will be sharing next including this one are sold separately so you can choose your size on top and bottom but uh, yes the bottoms are in size extra large and these are very similar in design to the ones from airy however i do like that they actually have the tie at the waist to really accentuate your waistline but i do find these run smaller than the ones from airy I'm not sure how well you guys can see it but i do have a bit of like a little bit of a spillover on the top here they're also way too high on the sides here and also you know a little cheekier than i'd prefer in the back um the back of the top does give pretty good support though and then again it does have the one shoulder with the tie this swimsuit is not terrible and i think the top runs true to size just not the best fit for me but the bottoms i do think run a bit smaller especially in comparison to the exact same style from airy but when I also placed my order, they did not have a ton of bottoms available in my size that were high waisted um, and also full coverage. Like I feel like I saw none that were full coverage and maybe again, they were just sold out in my size. In keeping with the high leg cheekies, I had to look up exactly what they are called. Um, I also did go ahead and grab these right here in a size extra large as well. And they are in this seersucker pattern. I do find these run quite a bit smaller than the previous ones especially on the sides here and also in the back plus again they just feel a little bit snugger at the waistline than i would prefer so the bottoms for me are going to be a miss the top however is a total win i love this this is actually one of my no definitely my favorite top from this entire haul this one's also in a size extra large and again same print as the bottoms the seersucker and the fabric is so nice it actually has like a bit of a texture to it i love the nice big sleeves the bottom of the sleeve is elastic as well as the top here so you do have the option to wear this one off of the shoulder but when doing so, I'm just not getting enough support in my girls. So I personally would wear it up. I also like this tie here in the center. It is functioning, so you're able to really tighten it up to really give your girls some nice support and push up by tying this as tight or as loose as you'd prefer. And I also love the support that this one gives in the back, nice coverage. And I actually feel like this top could totally be worn as like a normal top with some shorts and no one would know it was swim because it is so, so cute. So definitely my favorite top from today's try on. You guys will have to let me know what your favorites were down below. I really hope YouTube does not demonetize me for these swimsuits because man, they are so skimpy especially this one right here it's gonna be just a total total fail um same bottoms as the last two pairs that i shared um same fits like these actually don't fit as high up on the sides as the seersucker ones from before both in the front and in the back but they're still just a little too snug at the waist where i would prefer one size larger um these are in a size extra large and then as far as the top this one is in a size extra large as well and i knew going into this that this top was not going to fit me i figured you know what let's give it a try just to see when i was growing up these were the only type of swimsuit tops that were like really available for younger girls and i could never fit into them then and i definitely can't as a grown woman so um, as you guys can see i am just completely spilling out in here definitely would need this to be a bit larger um, i do appreciate that it has some underwire i mean underwire of course is not the most comfortable but i do like a little bit of support especially in a swim top like this one um, the straps on here are adjustable and then we just have this tiny little strap in the back you guys can see like 
it's just a little too snug back here. I have a little bit of a roll and kind of same thing with the bottoms as well. Um, I do like the color of this swimsuit set. I like that the top has like a little bit of a texture to it. I don't know how well you can see it. And I like the color, but uh, yeah, it's just not a good fit for me, my body, the style. It's just not not right we are ending this video with some misses first up we have this string bikini top in a size extra large it does have the two strings up here and also at the bottom um, and then it does tie in the back little to no support in this one there are no cuffs even in here um, and it just it just doesn't work the best for my girls, um, I'm way too busty for this type of bikini. So I definitely knew that going in, but I do think this one runs true to size. It just, again, not the best to fit for me and my body. But then we have these bottoms and guys, I'm not even going to take this wrong off to show you what they look like because they are low rise. I cannot even imagine the last time I wore anything low rise I wear my jeans, my leggings, my panties even, and my swimsuits, of course, all high rise. I like them super high rise. So for me to have something on low rise, I am just not super comfortable. They actually fit right here. So they're underneath my belly. They are very, very cheeky as well. And yeah, just not a good fit for me. Even if they were just low rise in itself, like I also think that they are too small and I don't remember ordering low rise bikini bottoms so I don't even know if they were marketed that way online but that's the way they fit me at least I will of course have them down below if you want to check them out for yourself but I will not be taking off this little sarong to show you um, the last item though that I did want to touch on is the little sarong it is so so cute I love that it matches exactly with the top and also the bottoms comes in a couple of different color options this one does claim to be like a one size fits all I don't know if that's really the case um, but it is really cute and I do like the combination of this set together even though a lot of these pieces did not fit me the best but I will of course have everything that I shared today listed down below, including links to shop and my size. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was or favorite set was that I shared today. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I do have more swimsuit hauls coming up here on my channel. And don't forget to also check me out on both Instagram and TikTok. I will have both of them listed down below. But that's gonna do it for today's haul. So thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, amazing week, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Cheers.